Hello guys, in this video we'll be looking at the DNA, predicted appearance, traits and GD match results of an Anatolian Neolithic farmer woman from Barson. This is her predicted phenotype with my Nashakoto. Uh, Nashakoto is predicting her to have blue eyes with an amber center, a uh, snub shaped nose, which is kind of like a small upturned nose, uh, red hair and as you can see, Ysec and Snipper Free are actually disagreeing here. Ysec is saying that this woman had uh, blonde hair and blue eyes, whereas Snipper Free is saying that she had green or hazel eyes, uh, red hair and white skin. So you can see there's a disagreement. And you know, Ysec and Snipper Free, uh, HRS Plex and Snipper Free, these are kind of like uh, kind of like toddlers, right? They're gonna have their disagreements. Uh, they disagree. When you have two toddlers disagreeing with each other, you need to have the adult in the room. And the adult in the room in this case is my Nashakot. So my Nash Nashakot is saying that she's gonna have blue eyes with amber center and red hair. So definitively, this is what she had. Her genotype in uh, DRT2's uh, Pro 319 Pro variant was very, very stereotypically European, uh, TT or AA. The implications of this is that she had a uh, lower amount of dopamine D2 receptors and a uh, lower risk of schizophrenia and was more likely to be a no-go learner. This is a very stereotypically European genotype, like nobody outside of Europe has this genotype. In this variant of DRD2 she had CC or GG, which is once again very typical for uh, Europeans. The implications of this is that she did not have a reduced amount of dopamine D2 receptors. According to her genotype in Comte's uh, Valmet region, she was a warrior with the IE, uh, which is once again a very stereotypically European genotype to have. Uh, like the A allele is highest in Europeans and lowest in Asians and Africans. And for example, Asians and Africans typically have GG and very rarely AG and pretty much never AA, but Europeans have uh, all three. Uh, but AA is like the stereotypically European. This is the outlier genotype that only Europeans have. She did not have derived EDAR, so no East Asian facial features. She was heterozygous for the sociopath gene, which is derived OXTR. Uh, honestly, not that big of a deal, because a lot of people worldwide, maybe a third of the people worldwide, have uh, one or two derived, one or two A alleles in this variant. So, you know, are half of the people worldwide sociopaths? I don't think so. So this, maybe she's a little bit more sociopathic than the average person, uh, but probably not a sociopath. She also did not have the European lactose persistence mutation and was most likely lactose intolerant. I say most likely, but it's not really guaranteed. For example, I have the same genotype. Uh, I also have CC here, but I drink milk every day. I'm doing very good. And here is basically the reason that uh, Maina Shakot as well as uh, Snipper Free is predicting this woman to have red hair because she had AG here uh, in this variant of MC1R. This is what she scores with Eurogenes K13. What's interesting is that uh, this is a very pure sample, which not only is it a pure sample, but it's a very modern sample because it's got a lot of modern drift. Like if you look at ancient samples, they were gonna, they're going to score a lot of components, but this sample is only scoring four, which means it's ha it has a lot of modern drift that uh, a lot of modern people today have, and it's closest to Sardinians and Algerians and all kinds of Jews, but it's, it's very distant from all of these populations actually. This is what she scores with MZLPK11. Now she's scoring 8% Caucasus. Um, we, th there's no Caucasus, on this, there's just EHG, but EHG is meant to represent Caucasus here. It doesn't represent Eastern Hunter Gatherers, so don't get fooled. Uh, and with the Oracle, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Greek Neolithic plus Natufian or Levant Neolithic. So I guess they just don't have a reference group for Anatolian Neolithic, so they model it as a mixture of Greek plus something from the Middle East. Here's what she scores with PanDNA LK12. Now she's scoring all kinds of gibberish. I don't really like this result. Uh, and in fact, I think the Anatolian Neolithic um, group on this calculator may have been simulated using some modern allele frequencies. You know, I've made a tool, Gorilla Mix tool, that literally does that, that simulates ancient or any kind of allele frequencies for any population you want. So I feel like when they were making this calculator, they used something like my Gorilla Mix tool, and this is why it's all messed up. It doesn't really represent Anatolian Neolithic. But with the Oracle, it's getting modeled as a mixture of some European farmers uh, plus Kotia Skide or some Armenian or some basically uh, West Asian groups. So this shows you that this is a typical result for an Anatolian Neolithic person. Here's what she scores with uh, PanDNA LK10. Now, once again, you can see she's scoring like 22% Western Hunter Gatherer, 12% Caucasus. Obviously, uh, she did not have any Caucasus blood. If she did, it was not more than a couple percent. So 12% is not is absolutely crazy result. And this is not because this is a contaminated sample or anything like that. Because as you can see, the Oracle is the Oracle is fine. The Oracle is showing you what's typical for an Anatolian farmer. It's just that the calculator itself is kind of bad. This is what she scores with ancient Eurasia K6 by Gidrosia. Now, 
Uh, interestingly, she's scoring mostly Natufian, 58% Natufian. I was expecting a little bit more Natufian and a little bit less uh, Western Hunter Gather. Uh, she's also scoring some Sub Saharan, and she's scoring 4% Ancestral North Eurasian, which I'm not sure why that is. Uh, with the Oracle, she's closest to Anatolian Neolithic at 4.7, actually a very close um, distance. Uh, this is the only calculator that had Anatolian Neolithic as a reference population in the Oracle, by the way. And she can be modeled as a mixture of Anatolian Neolithic plus some steppe or Tajik or Turkmen. Uh, basically, Anatolian Neolithic plus something more Eastern, probably because of the ancient North Eurasian result that she's got. This is what she scores with Gedrosia K3, a very West Eurasian result. There is almost nothing from... Uh, outside of West Eurasia here, so she had a lot of modern uh, Eurasian, modern Caucasoid drift, uh, which is very interesting. This is what she scores with MZLPK16. This is a completely absolute uh, gibberish result, it doesn't make any sense, and I don't think it's representative whatsoever of uh, her actual admixture. But let's get on to the Oracle. With the Oracle she's getting modeled as a mixture of Sardinian plus Samaritan or Arab and or Jewish, and by the way, this is something you will see later with G25. So G25 actually gives a similar result for this sample. And this is the sample on G25. Uh, this is the official G25 for it that I found on Explorer DNA. Uh, it's closest once again to Sardinians and all the usual suspects when it comes to Anatolian admixture. And it can be modeled as a mixture of Sardinian plus Samaritan or Sardinian plus Samaritan plus, plus another uh, basically Arab. So a mixture of Sardinian plus Levant is kind of what uh, this sample resembled. This is what she scores with Eurogenes A and EK7. Very interesting result. I like it because it's pure and simple, but I don't like it because there is too much Western Hunter Gatherer here. There is 34% VHG, and I think that the Western Hunter Gatherer group here it does not really represent Western Hunter Gatherers. Uh, I think this represents some kind of a basically modern Northern European drift instead of actual Western Hunter Gatherers because like modern Northern Europeans score 50% plus of this category here. Now moving on to real and uh, legitimate. Uh, admixture calculators. This is what she scores with uh, this calculator from G25. Uh, she's getting modeled as a mixture of half Greece Neolithic plus half uh, Barsin Neolithic. So this is not quite the same as Barsin. It's kind of like half Greece Neolithic plus half Barsin. But what's interesting is she's scoring 1% uh, step Yamna. So I'm not sure what to make of that. And uh, as always, I say this in every video, but thank you guys for watching until the end. You can download this sample in 23andMe format from link, which is going to be in the description. And leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.